Welcome to Take You Through. Please like, subscribe and tap the bell icon to never miss any future videos. Only less than 1% of my subscribers are watching my videos and all the other 99% are not subscribed. So if you love technology and if you like the content I create, please consider subscribing to my channel as it really helps it to grow. Now let's check the Blackmagic disk speed test and for the MacBook Pro 16 incher you can see how fast these are so you can see writing is 2500 megabytes even more as well as the reading speeds are extremely fast now let's try the AJA system test application and let's try the same test here let's start and these are the speeds let's click once again and the third time about that writing and reading speeds for the internal ssd and now to the m1 macbook air internal ssd speed test let's open up the blackmagic disk speed test application let's just click start so you can see this m1 macbook air has similarly if not even faster read and write speeds over two gigabytes per second let's quit this app let's open up aja system test application and let's click start here once again and the third time about the same 2000 megabytes per second write speed and 2700 read speed and the last thing we will test will be the Samsung T5 drive speed test. This is a very fast external SSD drive because the rumors are that the M1 Apple chip slows down the external SSD drives. So there is only one way to make sure and that is to plug this drive in and test the speed of it. So let's start with the MacBook Pro 16 inch and Black Magic Disk speed test. So let's choose the target drive. Let's click on the Samsung T5 and open up and click start. So these are the speeds that Samsung T5 should have about 500 megabytes per second write and read and AJA system test. Let's click on Samsung T5 once again and open up, click start and these are the speeds once again. Let's click second time, there you go. These are the SSD speeds on the MacBook Pro 16 inch for the Samsung T5 as external SSD. So now we will need to make sure if the rumors are true that the Apple Silicon MacBooks are slowing down the external hard drives. So therefore, we need to test this Samsung T5 external SSD speeds here on the M1 MacBook Air. So we'll now connect this drive to the M1. So it shows up here, Samsung T5. And let's open up our speed test application. So we'll start with the Blackmagic. But before we test, we need to click here on the settings and select the target drive. We select the Samsung T5 and open up. Let's start. And as you can see, it really is, the drive really works slower. The basic speed was about 500 megabytes write and read on the Intel Max. And you can really see the difference that the Apple Silicon Max slow down the external SSD drives, not the internal ones. Inter internal ones may be even faster than the Intel Max have, but yeah, you can see it only 300 to about 350, 380 to the read speeds. All right, let's try the AJA system test. Once again, let's click Samsung T5 and open up, click start. And it's the same story, under 300 megabytes per second write and 380 megabytes per second read. Let's try again. And about the same. So 120 to 
200 megabytes less than on the Intel Max. That's the reality, I don't know why, but the rumors are true.